640, let's get a checkup of weather. A lot of people about to head out of the door in the next 20 minutes or so. It's going to be a bit windy today. Yeah, windy and then also looking at some showers across central Georgia this morning, especially areas north of Interstate 16. For tomorrow, though, definitely want to go find the rain jacket. It's been about two weeks since we've seen a serious rain, and you're going to need it as you walk out the door. That includes the fourth graders at Quail Run Elementary. I was there last week visiting them in Houston County. Talked about a lot of things. They had already learned about warm fronts and cold fronts and high pressure and low pressure. A really smart group. We talked about tornadoes and hurricanes, and they saw some pretty cool pictures as well. So thanks to everybody down in Houston County for having me out last week. All right, let's check out what's going on right now. Here's the sunrise over downtown. Temperatures in the 50s this morning. 56 with a breeze out of the south at about 7 miles an hour. We got 76 coming later on today, so a relatively warm day, about 10 degrees above average, but that is going to come with a minor rain chance here through the afternoon. 56 in Forsyth right now, 58 in Roberta, 55 walking out the door in Bleckley County, 54 over in Dublin, 57 in Rochelle, and 51 down in McRae. A little cooler off to the east this morning because the cloud cover is not as thick out there as we we check out the satellite. Here's the radar picture. Some showers up near Interstate 85. That's what I'm talking about moving through the northern parts of our area later on this morning. You see that cloud cover in place. The core of the system where the showers are tied to up into Tennessee and Kentucky. So the bulk of the rainfall going to be up in northern Georgia and really even then it's not all that much. So through the day today going to be looking at clouds across central Georgia with that shower chance here through the morning. Temperatures already in the mid 60s by 11 a.m. into the 70s this afternoon. There's 75 there by about 4 p.m. We'll see if we make it 75 76 somewhere in there, but then look at this through the overnight hours. We don't cool off all that much only down into the 60s. We've got the combination of the southerly breeze and the cloud cover to thank for that. That's ahead of a cold front that arrives tomorrow. So by 1 p.m. Tomorrow temperatures in the 70s. You see future view trying to have us scrape by 80 degrees there. Really the timing of the arrival of this cold front is going to determine whether or not we do that by 5 p.m. Here comes this front moving into central Georgia and as it does so. We're going to be looking at a rather quick drop in the mercury in the thermometers across central Georgia, and that is because the front's going to be moving at a fast clip, and there's much cooler air behind it down into the 30s for Thursday morning. Thursday will be cloudy for us in central Georgia. The wind out ahead of this front, though, I think is going to be the main story, gusting upwards of 30 miles an hour today. And then as the front slides through tomorrow, we'll be seeing some more gusts in that ballpark. You can see the, the leading edge of that front coming through central Georgia rather quickly, and that wind continuing into the night. Let's talk about the weekend. Another rain chance on Friday and unfortunately the system that's going to bring that rain chance is going to hang around for Saturday and Sunday. So a uh, stair step down rain chance if you will 60% on Friday and then 40% on Saturday followed by 30% on Sunday. As for today, there go the temperatures into the 60s on our way to a high temperature right around 76. A couple of sprinkles out there want something to do tonight. Mercer baseball back at Ortho Georgia Park looking at temperatures falling from the 70s down into the 60s. First pitch at 6 p.m. against Florida A&M University. All right, here's your seven day forecast 78 for tomorrow with a 40% chance rain. Again, mostly cloudy on Thursday before our second system arrives on Friday with a 60% chance rain. That's the first day of March. Expect temperatures back in the 70s for the weekend and into next week.